put myself in your shoes, you would need to lead the discussion more. Is that what I heard from you yet? You thought? Uh, like Initially wasn't, going in. Yeah, I wasn't concerned about like, them uh, being able to, but yeah. I thought that I would have to like, pull it out of them. Yes, yes, yes. This is, yeah, I'm, I'm affirming this. I have this too. Oftentimes, this, to be honest with you, like, this is like the roadblock I can't get over. Oh, they're going to need a lot of help from And to be honest with you, then I just, I, it's a self fulfilling prophecy. I give them more help. And I don't ever let, let you know, control go to the students. This next one, comfortable, friendly classroom environment, culture already established and thriving. Um, a text that is rich, clearly you pick something that resonated with them. And then questions prepared. Oftentimes, it's the right questions you can throw in there, as well as, um, I'm going to get to the PDF. They need the challenge, participation, safety, and ownership. Can you take a moment to read this? It's on page two, same handout. Page two, same handout. Then we'll get to our video clip. Focus on two things before we see the clip. First one is up here. How comfortable are they with taking risks of being wrong? Can you rate your own classroom comfort level for yourself and the students' shoes? They're okay. They are comfortable raising their hand, trying an answer because they're not afraid to be wrong. Five. Yeah, my kids know. Um, I want to see effort, and I um, they, they they're not cut down when they um, give a wrong answer like zero. I'm still not getting any participation. Where are your students at? Are they confident they can give a wrong answer in your class? Five to zero. Where can you rate your class? Are they comfortable raising their hands, giving answers? Yes. Have you built that? That's close. Good try. Let me try and challenge you, extend it to you. Um, it's got to be there for the discussion. If it's not there the first day, you got to show them. Look down here. Once again, wanting to listen and respond to one another's ideas. You'll see in the clip how the teacher gets them. All right. Um, take a moment while I put my video to look through this. You, this is going to be a sixth grade discussion. The text is, thank you, ma'am. It is on the second and last day. It only took them two days to go through this one. Remember, it's sixth grade. Uh, what are students doing that reflect on the four principles? Participation, challenge, safety, and ownership. Where do you think students could grow? What do you think the teacher has to ensure that students are engaged, challenged, feel safe, and own their thoughts? And what might they do to continue? So what we'll do is this. The first clip, I believe, is about three minutes. You'll see. Uh, you can tell it's the first day. Then they debrief the clip and set some goals about how to improve. That's really what I want us to focus on. Let me pull this video up. 